another of our impact series. I'm here with Olga, who is the CMO from eBike Labs. Um, Olga, could you give us a quick introduction to yourself and, and the company? Yeah, sure. Um, hi, Emily. Thank you so much for having me. Sure. Um, I'm a chief marketing officer at uh, tech startup eBike Labs, where we design intelligent software for the eBike market. And I'm also a cycling advocate where I encourage cities to invest in cycling pro projects. Mm -hmm. And I also encourage citizens to bike any chance they get. Fair enough. So as an alternative to, to kind of car and travel that causes emissions, I guess. Totally, yes. <laughs> sure. So I guess that, that brings us on to the, to the next issue, which, um, which we've discussed before the video. And keen to, to hear your kind of summary of, of the climate issues that you guys are, are solving and in your way of doing that and, and the impact you're having. Yeah, um, well, um, transportation um, is the largest contributor to the climate change mm -hmm. and it is the main cause of air pollution in cities. Yeah. And in this context, actually, it represents almost a quarter of uh, Europe's greenhouse gas emissions. Mm -hmm. So to change that and to have a positive impact on our planet, we have to provide to citizens a more clean alternatives to their mobility demands. Mm -hmm. And uh, here, um, uh, we believe that e-bikes are the best solution to the mobility demands. Yeah. Um, in, when we think about e-bikes, they have a um, uh, positive impact on the environment, on the health. Mm -hmm. uh, they also require less physical efforts. Uh, they can go longer distances and thus they can be adopted by the majority of citizens. Yeah, so, you have to be super fit. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah, and if you have like a hill, you know, or bridge to climb, mm -hmm. it's much more easier to do that than when than with conventional bikes. Of course. Yeah. And the top of that, the e-bikes, they don't release any dangerous chemicals in our atmosphere, mm -hmm. and the carbon footprint is much less when compared to other much larger uh, electric vehicles. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, that makes sense. So, in in terms of e-bike labs and your solution to it how are you contributing to that kind of uptake of e-bikes and people using them more what what is your exact kind of route to that market yeah so um, at e-bike labs we design um, a software which is based on artificial intelligence mm -hmm. and it replaces hardware components with the software Right. In order to make the transition towards sustainable mobility happen, the um, uh, e-bike designers, they have to address uh, um, such kind of challenges as theft and maintenance problems, which right. still exist in the market. Mm -hmm. And uh, with our software, they can do that. So right. I can give an example. Uh, every bike has a lock. Mm -hmm. And no matter how strong your lock is, it is breakable because it is a hardware. Yeah. So at e-bike labs, we replace the mechanical breakable lock with an electronic motor locking system. Wow, okay. So it um, we use a motor to act as a strong brake on the wheel of the bike. Right. And the system is literally unbreakable. So it can't be stolen. It can't be taken away oh. from its owner. I see. That was right. really clever. Yeah. And uh, we also replace other uh, fragile and costly uh, hardware components. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, more innovations coming from our deep tech. Um, so at eBay Clubs, we have a software approach yeah. because we believe uh, less hardware, less maintenance, less costs. Yeah. The e-bikes, they are more reliable, um, they're more enjoyable, and they're also more simpler. Yeah. And I guess they're, they're greener in that you're not having to produce the hardware. There's no, there's no kind of manufacturing of, of certain hardware there's no manufacture of locks if, if the lock can can be you know something small that is fixed or a chip or something that is, is going to stop the bike so that makes sense so I mean in terms of your your growth and how you're planning to move it forward is it something that you guys are just focusing on on France at the moment are you looking to go global with it what are the plans yeah, so we uh, we mostly focus on Europe mm -hmm. and also North America. Okay. We've just finished our crowdfunding campaign oh. where we raised um, uh, 1 million of euros and we also engaged uh, 500 shareholders okay. who shared the mission to accelerate uh, the transition the transition towards sustainable mobility. Mm -hmm. So our goal is to scale up. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, right now we are working on uh, 
uh, polishing our innovations mm -hmm. and uh, we preparing for large deployment um, in 2023. Okay, 2023. So is there, are any of your products live at the moment or is it that you, you've just got like prototypes and you're still developing them? Yeah, so we, we already uh, done proof of concept. Mm -hmm. We had some uh, smaller projects with a, a smaller quantity of e-bikes to prove our technology. Sure. Um, so that is done. Um, and now we are in a phase where we are really taking uh, what we have developed mm -hmm. and we polish it up and we really develop it so that we can get it uh, deployed on a large scale. Yeah, to the masses, understood. Okay. Cool. Good. Well, I, I think it's been a really interesting conversation. I, I appreciate your time and thank you for taking part. And uh, we'll include all the information on, on eBike Labs in the information attached to the video so everyone can go and check it out. Yeah. Thank you so much, Emily, cool. for having me. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye.